today I have some quick error bar setup tips for you. Oops. Uh, so this uh, this is a bike of a long distance triathlete, and he wants some added comfort and stability to his bar, and also he complained that when riding at the cow horns he was slipping down and his hands were getting sweaty so I decided to ditch his bar tape and put on some skateboard grip tape like I'm using on my bike uh, so a tip for applying skateboard grip tape uh, so first it's really really more pleasant on the skin than it seems at the first time so you can use it uh, on, well, on multiple purposes but this is a good example on the cow horns because it's really really grippy even if your hands are wet so you're definitely not not going off the bar at the descent so it has a fair amount of confidence there of course the grip tape is designed to fit on a flat surface such as a skateboard so it uh, needs a bit of persuasion to get uh, onto this shape but that that's quite easy thing to do all you need is uh, well, a heat gun what I did was to cut cut the amount of tape I needed uh, I made sure that there's quite a bit of overlap I held it in the air heated up it heated it up with the gun and I wrapped it around and then gave it some more heat when it was applied so I just got the air bubbles out and now it hold, holds perfectly tight one problem I had with this Argon air bar is that the DI2 cable uh, goes in really late in the bar so it's it's exposed up until around here where the hole is so that's uh, not, not a very neat feature on this bike <clears throat> but I managed to get it working pretty pretty well and pretty tidy so the profile of the air bar uh, when it's applied like this instead of bar tape is also quite a bit slimmer which helps in aerodynamics well maybe that's not the case here because of this bulky DI2 lever but it's definitely much sleeker on my bike where I have a mechanical system and just a sleek SRAM brake lever but anyway I think it's worth considering if you ride uh, a TT bike and then I went on to do a modification on the skis themselves so this is his Guru bike fit setup so I didn't want to change the position at all and as you can see this bike is well this frame is quite on a small size for him and it's stretched out completely which makes the whole front end quite wobbly so I uh, put a strengthening brace here which is made of aluminum it's just basically a piece of an old handlebar I cut it down and uh, cut an oval to the edges so I can fit them between the bars added some super glue but there's also a bit of bit of tension between them so it so the skis themselves hold them quite tightly between between them and then the bar tape also gets another, another degree of support to it to the strengthening brace and the other benefit is that you can well not you he can fit his garmin right here so he has everything under control and then he has space for his hydration system all the way to the pads uh, of course fitting the bar tape and this piece wasn't exactly easy but I managed to do it with a cross wrap like you do on the road uh, brake and shift levers and then 
I finished it off with some electrical tape. I have managed to get quite a high quality tape for jobs like this. But I also use the heat gun on those because they tend even good quality uh, tape tends to unravel when it gets hot and when you, when you get your sweat on it. So I heated it up and uh, made it nice and flush. It actually even mimics the pattern on the Supercars bar tape, which is really, really nice, by the way. So I f that's how I finished it off. Okay, so these were some details that I used to finish a customer's bike. If you like this video and would like to see some more content about cycling related and tech related stuff, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.